So let's talk about infant botulism, which is a disease that affects about 135 to 150 babies in the United States each year. This disease is suspected when a typically previously healthy baby begins to have floppy movements due to progressive weakness, as well as poor head control, bilateral ptosis, constipation, poor feeding, and or a weak cry. This variant of floppy baby syndrome is caused by a bacteria called Clostridium botulinum, which is a gram-positive, rod-shaped, obligate anaerobe that forms spores. It is found in, most commonly in soil and marine sediment worldwide, although it can also be found in honey and home canned goods. The spores release a neurotoxin, which later gets cleaved in the body into a 50 kilodalton light chain and a 100 kilodalton heavy chain, which is important to the toxin's mechanism of action. Babies become affected, first of all, because their immune system is too immature to fight off the bacteria. When they ingest C. botulinum from the environment, it makes its way into their intestines and colonizes the colon. From there, it releases the toxin-producing spores. The toxin eventually gets endocytose into cholinergic nerve synapses, where bacterial proteases cleave it into the two chains as just discussed. This activates the toxin and allows it to cleave SNAP proteins, essentially preventing acetylcholine from getting released into the neuromuscular junction. Since acetylcholine is needed to stimulate muscle movement, the muscles are unable to be triggered and the baby experiences progressive weakness. The most serious effect of this is respiratory depression, and ultimately about 50% of infants require mechanical ventilation. Of course, this toxin isn't only dangerous to babies. Botulinum toxin is the most potent bacterial toxin, and perhaps the most potent known poison. The minimum lethal dose is 0.0003 micrograms per kilogram. Comparatively, the minimum lethal doses for curare and sodium cyanide are 500 and 10,000 micrograms per kilogram, respectively. Fortunately, this infection is extremely rare, and our immune systems are typically pretty good at protecting us. Infant botulism affects babies aged 1 week to 12 months, with a median onset of about 3 to 4 months. Unfortunately, the diagnosis is often missed. In one study, the diagnosis was suspected on admission in just 50% of infants who later had lab-confirmed infant botulism. To make matters more complicated, the lab diagnosis, which involves looking for botulinum spores or toxin in the stool, typically takes about one week or longer. Therefore, we make a presumptive diagnosis based on clinical symptoms and electromyography or EMG findings. We also need to consider alternative diagnoses, which can include sepsis, dehydration, drug ingestion, brainstem encephalitis, cerebral infarction, Guillain-Barre, or other neuromuscular disorders. To treat infant botulism, we give intravenous botulism immune globulin, or BIG, also known as BB BIG. We do not wait for confirmatory tests, but give it as soon as we suspect the, di the disease. A study of BIG versus placebo showed that the antitoxin decreased the length of hospital stay, decreased ICU time, and decreased the length of mechanical ventilation and tube feeding. As a side note, it is thought that antibiotics can potentiate the toxin effect, so we do not prescribe them unless there is a concurrent infection. Thanks for watching.